Well, good morning and welcome to SUNUP. I'm Clinton Griffiths. With wheat and canola harvest underway, it's hard to think of any other agricultural ventures happening around this state. But the truth is, there is a world of crops being grown right here in Oklahoma. In fact, we got a look at some of those crop alternatives this week on a trip down to the Lane Research Center in southeast Oklahoma. Nestled into 287 acres just southeast of Atoka, in the town of Lane, is one of the state's most unique research stations. Run jointly by Oklahoma State and the USDA, this facility isn't planting the state standards in its sandy soils. Well, this station was established to do alternative cropping systems to look at what you could do if you weren't growing wheat or some of the basic crops. And uh, vegetables was one of the ideas that was pro pro proposed years ago by Wes Watkins and some of his advisors. And so we've looked at most of the vegetable crops that can be grown in Oklahoma. And virtually anything can be grown here. The only one that, that has not been very successful was carrots. For years, it's been nationally and internationally recognized as a center for excellence in its research of watermelon and cantaloupe. But with more than 50 experimental plots a year, there's a lot more to see and learn. From production systems to pest management to genetics and biofuels, researchers are looking at all alternatives. Well, ultimately, it's help them grow a crop that they can make money on. I'm an ag economist by training, and so generally, after we look at the technical feasibility of growing anything, we put together a systems sort of approach and see if, uh, if the farmer could actually make some money. And they're always open to provide producers with answers on just how to do that. And a lot of it is whether or not a person has a specific question or whether or not they're just starting out. We've had people come in and say, I want to start producing vegetables on a reasonably small scale. What do I do? And we sit with them if it takes hours and, uh, or multiple uh, visits. More than welcome. Please come. Part of those efforts include the state's only government-run certified organic land, a small but growing niche in today's agricultural market.